Hi everyone, uh, this is Monsieur Lenage, and I would like to show you how you would be able to use Logger Pro uh, to do a video motion analysis. And in this case, you start with a uh, new uh, file as far as uh, Logger Pro is concerned. Then you're going to go to the Insert menu, and you're going to insert MUI. At this point, you navigate to your desktop where you should have a folder called Labo2B or any other name, and then you should be able to find your movie. You open your movie, and then at that point, you move the movie just a little bit out of the way so you would be able to get things going. At this point, what I'd like to do, normally I encourage people to play the video, but my video here is a little bit too long, so I'm just going to use the scrubber to move the... Uh, you know, to move the car to be almost close to one of the masking tapes. And then at this point, I am going to start the video motion analysis. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to click on this palette right here. And as you can see, when you hover over the icons, it'll tell you what they are supposed to do. I need the palette. Now the palette shows up at the very top right here. You could see it says add point. But before I do that, I want to make sure that my uh, points, when they are set, that they would be advancing at about five frames for every point that I set in there. To do that, you do a right click on the play button. When you do the right click on the play button, that would give you the movie options. When you click on the movie options, at the very bottom of that screen, there is advanced movie one frame after adding new point. You want to change that to five frames after adding a new point. When you do that, what happens is when you add a point, it'll automatically move five frames ahead so you would be able to get things going. So in this case, I am going to move uh, to do that. Once I have that, then at this point, I click on add point icon. And then you are supposed to select any one of the points that are not moving that much in your, uh, in your car or uh, tumble buggy. So in this case, I am going to click at the center of the front wheel, and I'm going to be consistent in using that. So here we go. Click. Notice how it moved automatically five uh, uh, frames ahead. Click again, five frames ahead. And again, always you try to be as precise as you can uh, possibly be. And I'm still doing. So far I have four points. And I'm going to make sure that we have no less than 10. And since I love prime numbers, I'm going to go to 11. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's good enough for me. At this point, uh, if you go here, you should be able to see that the times are too high and the, the uh, positions, uh, the X positions are also too high. Well, the position numbers are too high because it is not measuring things in centimeters or in meters. Instead, it is measuring them in number of pixels. And that's basically what you're looking at at this point. So we need to definitely uh, change these so they would make sense from a physics point of view. To change the scale, all you would have to do is just you go to the hover over this horizontal ruler. It says set scale. You click on it. And then at that point, this is the reason for me asking you to have two masking tapes showing in your video. So you click and hold and you pull and you make sure that you've got a horizontal thingy. And then you go to the middle of the other one and you let go. As soon as you let go, it's going to ask you that, that distance in green is corresponds to how much. And I want you to pay attention to these numbers, how they are going to change now as soon as I put 0 0.5. Because we set those mar uh, masking tapes at 0 0.5 meters uh, each. Uh, so at this point, say OK. Notice here beautifully how these numbers are now reasonable numbers corresponding in, uh, whatchamacallit, in uh, meters. Now, at this point, what we would like to do, another thing too as physicists we'd like to do is we set our frame of reference. Notice here that our frame of reference is not starting at zero here for the x, and as well as the time, we would like the time also to start at zero. Therefore, we're going to focus first on the position. So if you have over here, the icon says set origin. So I'm going to click on it. 
And then I'm going to go to my initial point right there. So that initial point, I'm going to make it my or point of origin. That's where I'm setting my frame of reference right now. So here we go. Click on that. Boom. Notice how this one pretty much is zero now. Okay. At this point, my friends, I would like to take care of the time now. I'd like the time to be also zero. Therefore, I'm going to move my uh, the, uh, the car back to the original position. It, by the way, it did not erase those points. They'll eventually uh, be showing later. It just right now, I want it to go back to my original first point. Once I am there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the bottom part here where it says Sync Movie to Graph. And I'm going to tap on it or click on it. And then I'm going to say that 7.377 etc it is corresponding to my zero on my graph and then i'll click ok and then boom now my time is set to zero this does not look like zero but actually it is 3.333 times 10 to the power negative 15 or something like that which is basically zero now that i have that pretty much i have most of the elements that i want on my graph i need to insert one more thing i need to insert a text box now I'm going to organize everything so it would be easy to, uh, to see all the elements of my uh, self O2B. At this point, I'm going to uh, click on Auto Arrange. And when I do that, notice the beauty now. The movie is right there. The data table is right there. The uh, uh, text box is right there. And then the graph is right here. So now I'm going to focus my attention on the graph first to tidy it up a little bit. Uh, notice here how the y values are all pretty much zero. Well, duh, yeah, it's supposed to be zero because the car is not supposed to take off the ground. Okay, so that's silly. We're not going to keep that. We're going to just keep the x because the x value is the one that we are interested in. And then after that, as usual, we must have a title with our names on it. So I'm going to double click over here and I'm going to put self uh, O to B. Uh, to be more specific, constant velocity particle model lab, okay, for example, and then open bracket, my name, Monsieur Lenage, uh, here we go, and then at this point, I'm going to close the bracket, say okay, boom, I've got a title, I've got my name, I'm in cool ter territory right now, the only thing that is left for me as far as the graphs are concerned is to do the line of best fit. So I'm going to hover over this button right there, say linear fit. It gives me something. I need to double click on that something and show the uncertainty. I need to have uncertainties. And then I am going to select 24 as usual. We don't want to strain our eyes. And then I'm going to select the cool color for that. And I like purple. I am a, a purple dude. Therefore, I'm going to select that. And then at this point, I'm going to say OK, say OK, and I take this, move it over there, and notice now I've got everything that I want on the graph side. And at this point, my friends, the last item that uh, you are supposed to do here is a reflection deal. So I'm going to put uh, in there, I'm going to do a reflection, so reflections, OK? Uh, if the uh, font size is too small, what I could do is I could go to edit and I'm going to say give me a bigger size. So if you do command plus, it will automatically increase the size. So I'm going to do command plus, command plus, command plus, command plus, command plus until I get a size that is reasonable. And then at this point, in reflections, we're supposed to uh, summarize, summarization. We're supposed to uh, connect, connections. We're supposed to apply to real life. And by the way, the connections with the arts or with things we care about, the applications in real life. And then finally, wonderism. Always you have to wonder uh, about, you know, asking a deep question or something like that. With this, my friends, I have everything that I need. All I need to do now is say save. And I am going to call, uh, give it the date first, 1911-18, and constant velocity particle model, self O2B. And at this point, I'm going to save that. 
and of course uh, another thing too that you need to do is to take a screenshot so I'm gonna take a screenshot of this and because of, you're gonna share it with me via canvas eventually or uh, via other means uh, depending on which uh, you know uh, situation we are in and at this point my friends I've got everything that I need I'm done stop the